Welcome back to the podcast Storytellers. Today I will explore the fascinating world of textile from Bhutan and the country's path towards sustainability and I will be explaining the core of Bhutanese textile sector today where creativity and tradition coexist and sustainability is deeply rooted in all that we do. I'm Ugin Chiran and here we have Tandinongmo with us. She is known for her expertise in Bhutanese weaving tradition. Thank you Tandinongmo for joining with us. Thank you Ugin. It's a pleasure to be here. Bhutan Textile has played a significant role in establishing and manufacturing unique handwoven textile that are deeply rooted in country's rich culture legacy. Could you elaborate on their visions and missions? Indeed, an amazing project, Bhutan Textile Connect partners in the public, private and the non-governmental sector to safeguard our textile legacy while embracing sustainability. Their mission extends beyond the production of textile. It also includes protecting human welfare and the environment. They strive to enhance Bhutan's general sense of happiness and holiness, guided by the concept of cross-national happiness. That's truly inspiring. Bhutanese weaving is not just a craft, it is considered an art of living. Can you shed some light on the cultural significance of weaving in Bhutan? Of course, Bhutanese culture is strongly rooted in weaving, which is much more than just a method of making cloth. It is a spiritual exercise that fills the weaver's heart with harmony and peace. Traditionally, women pass on their weaving knowledge from generation to generation by learning the craft at an early age. In addition to teaching weaving techniques, this information transfer promotes a shared commitment to protecting our environment culture and a way of life. It's fascinating how weaving serves as a bridge between generation connecting the past with present. I'm intrigued by the term hingtam which means weaving with heart. Can you elaborate on the significance of this concept? Hingtam encapsulates the essence of Buddhist textile. It's about weaving with a passion, dedication and love. Every textile created through this process carries a piece of weaver's heart inviting our culture, heritage and values. Before even starting to weave, there is a meticulous preparation process that can take several days emphasizing the intention and care behind each piece. That attention to detail and craftsmanship is truly admirable. Can you share with our listener how Bhutan's natural resources are transforming the textile sector? Definitely. Because Bhutan has been blessed with an abundance of natural resources, craftsmen are being are using these resources to make sustainable textile that reduce the environmental impact of the industry. For example, bamboo fibers, which are renowned for their strength and the flexibility, are being woven into extremely versatile and environmentally friendly fibers. Furthermore, yarn manufactured from the wild nettles a plant that grows wild and prolific across the Bhutan hilly region is becoming more and more well liked due to its unique texture and lifespan. That's truly remarkable. It is incredible to see how these locally sourced materials are being incorporated into the textile production. Can you provide some examples of how artists are being innovative with the sustainability metal? Of course, a major development in the traditional Bhutanese clothing is incorporation of bamboo fabric into clothes like Kira and Go. Craftsmen are combining bamboo fibers into cotton or silk to create clothing that is not only breathable and comfortable, but also naturally antibiotics, which is perfect for the environment of Bhutan. In the same way, beautiful textiles are made from yarn spun from the wild needles, protecting ecological balance and cultural legacy. And then another aspect that set Bhutanese textile apart is the use of natural dyes that source from local plants. How does this practice contribute to sustainability? Using natural dyes not only produce beautiful and unique colors, but also align with the Bhutan's values of respecting and preserving nature. Women across the country have mastered the art of natural dyeing, utilizing the incredible diversity of plants found in our environment. 
Each piece of textile dyed with a natural dye tells a story, reflecting the season, soil, and the environment in which the plants were grown. It's incredible how nature becomes an integral part of weaving process, adding layers of meaning to each textile. I'm curious about the role of organizations like APIC and Handicraft Association of Bhutan in supporting artists and preserving tradition crafts. The Handicrafts Association of Bhutan and APIC are the two important organizations that help the local craftsmen by giving them access to markets, training and support. They maintain old methods and expertise while enabling craftsmen to innovate. This institution supports the growth and sustainability of Bhutan's handicraft industry by making investment in the market connections and skill development. Let's explore Bhutan Textile Partnership and interactive driving sustainability forward. One Nobel Interactive is the collaboration between Bhutan Textile and EU Bhutan Trade Support Project. This partnership aims to diversify Bhutan's exports by improving trade regulations and increasing exports of horticulture products and textile handicrafts. Through this collaboration, Bhutanese artisans have gained international recognition and access to new markets. Additionally, Bhutan Textile Collaboration Organization like Royal Textile Academy promoting culture preservation and education about Bhutanese textile. Their effort ensured the transmission of weaving traditions to future generations. Bhutan Textile also supports local artisans and cooperative social initiatives like the Handicraft Association of Bhutan and the Green Weaving Center. These partnerships provide training, financial support, and the market linkages empowering artisans while promoting sustainable practices. As we conclude today's episode, let's reflect on transformative power of sustainability in Bhutan textile industry. Through collective action and innovation, Bhutan textile is weaving a future where craftsmanship, culture, and sustainability intertwine seamlessly. Before we wrap up, do you have any final thoughts or message you would like to share with our listeners? I would like to encourage everyone to appreciate the stories woven into Bhutanese textile and the dedication of the artisans behind them. By supporting sustainable practices and the ethical craftsmanship, we can contribute to the preservation of our culture heritage and the well-being of our communities. That's all for today's episode. Join us next time as we continue our exploration of sustainability and innovation across different industries. Until then, take care and stay mindful of the impact we have on our planet.